Hello, hello, and welcome guys. This is James, and you're watching another episode of Let's Architecture. In this video, I will show you how to create this plan view with a bird's eye effect. So this effect gives you an illusion of looking at your site from a great height through the clouds, as if, let's say, a bird would see it. If you want to know how to create this, then stay tuned and let's architecture. So let's begin. Let's go to Google Earth and find your location. I'll do London. So imagine that this is my location. And if you want to get this image, just go to File, Print, and into Page Setup, select your page size. I would put in a three landscape and map options. I don't want a title. I don't want a legend scale, not this scale because I, I don't like the, the style of it. The compass, well, not this compass. Let's do it black and white. Don't click print, click the save PDF. Save it in whatever location you want. Yes. And it exported everything. So just go to desktop and double click image. And here it is. Now open it with Photoshop. You want to always have a uh, copy just in case you mess up the original. And now let's do the same, so fog. If you don't have this bar on the right, go to Windows and click this thing, brushes. And I will select my soft round. Increase the opacity. Okay, that's too much. Let's say five. You just want to do this, this general foggy layer to focus your attention onto the area that you want to show. We'll probably erase a bit. Yeah, just to make sure that I'm not covering this area. Now that's done. I want to go to put clouds one. Select my clouds. Select the one we want, really. Okay, let's like this. Increase the size to better. Reduce the opacity to five and just go around it. Oh, um, you don't want to use this brush in the same orientation because it would uh, look fake. Try to orient the canvas around. So, and to do this, uh, just hold down R and you would see this uh, icon with a hand and this arrow and just click down and rotate your canvas. Take another brush and just do it lightly. You know, you want to do it in layers that there's uh, this effect of volume in your image. Might increase this a bit to 10. Okay, and now let's go to say cloud, cloud 2. And now let's increase the opacity to about 20. And just do these dabs around and don't put them uh, don't put the same brushes uh, close to each other you would see that they are sort of cloned we don't want that you can have one one cloud that's um, that has more opacity than others it's fine you might want to put a bigger cloud here because there's a google sign yeah, don't, don't overdo it, but just enough, as I say. Yeah, you can, you can play with it as much as you want, really. So to make the side boundary, if you want to create thick line, then you can just do it with a, uh, you can just do it with a brush. Select the size that you want and just, if you click down and hold down shift and then click again, it would join the two points. It would it would join two points with a line, so you can just kind of go like that around the building. I mean, I'm gonna do it really rough, but you get the idea. Yeah, so you would outline your site, double click, outer glow, select the color of the glow, uh, opacity, don't want noise, size. 
and here it is. Now, if you want to have a dashed line, then I would go to Illustrator. I would just take the base, drag it into Illustrator, and then just go around the site boundary. You draw your vector and then in here, go to strokes. And if you don't have it, go to window stroke. And you would, you would see this icon. Now you need to select the thickness of your boundary. Let's say two. And you want to you click dashed line. Now you want to play with, with the sizes a bit. This would look good. This would look okay. Once you're happy, just drag your vector into Photoshop. And what's beautiful about doing it this way, the size from Illustrator is exactly the same as the size in Photoshop. So you don't have to like rescale or anything. You just have to just you just have to place it um, wherever it has to go. Yes. Now border dashed color overlay select the color that you want if you want the outer glow uh, i'll already show you how to create it so i'm just gonna copy it from here and here you go that's how to create the bird eye view of the site in terms of these brushes and where can you get them? I, I got this collection from brusheasy.com. All brushes are free, so uh, that's great. You go to Google and you type brush clouds, cloud brushes. And you would have this first link, that's what I had. And basically it's a collection of 24 brushes. Uh, you just click download, once you downloaded it, Let's do it now, wait a few seconds. You get a zip file, so um, to unzip it, get a WinRAR or something like it. So open it and get this file to wherever you want, probably ex export it into desktop for now, because I don't know how you will uh, use it. And basically take the file and copy it into your Photoshop uh, folder location. So in my case, it's local disk C, program files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, um, I'll, I'll copy it in, into 2018 because that's my latest version. Uh, then go to uh, presets, uh, brushes, and just copy, uh, paste it there. I have it here already, so paste it, uh, replace file and destination, continue. Now you have your brushes. And to actually load them, you can do it in different ways. Um, I do it through windows and I just click this brushes. You would have this window and then, so I would delete this group. So imagine I don't have it here. So I would go to click here and say, Click on these three lines and click on import brushes and then go back to that location of where you put it and just click your um, new brushes so select your clouds brushes and click load and here they are they're all loaded and ready to use I hope this was helpful and that you learned something. If you did enjoy this video and you learned something, then please hit that like button, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm making regular videos. As of right now, I'm a bit busy, so they come out once or twice a month. But once I finish with everything, um, they should come out um, once or twice a week. So don't miss that. As always, thank you for watching. This was James, Let's Architecture.